Hey everyone, good evening, my name is Joey. Um, we're gonna get started in about one minute, so I appreciate everyone's patience as we get started looking at the eLearn program. We're going to get started in about 30 seconds, so I appreciate everyone's patience. All right, let's get started. Welcome to the eLearn program in adult education at Delgado Community College. My name is Joey Lehrman, and I will be taking you on a brief tour of how the program works, including how to apply, get ready for orientation, and learn a little bit about how the instruction and communication in the program works too. As we begin, remember that the eLearn program is completely free for all students. So, Let's get started. First of all, what is the eLearn program? eLearn is a fully online adult education program with classes in reading, writing, math, social studies, and science. These classes are designed to help you get ready to earn your high set, which is the new name for the GED, start college, and begin your career. I'll take this opportunity to remind you that all of our classes are free and you can stay in the program as long as you want and need to reach your personal, professional, and academic goals. In the eLearn program, we focus on, on how incredible it is to be a student in 2015. There are tons of free resources available online, including websites like Coursera and Duolingo. Coursera, which you can see at the top, offers free college classes and Duolingo allows you to learn a language for free. How many of you might be interested in learning to speak a language? Well, using websites like Duolingo, you can start today for free. There are many benefits to learning online, including the convenience, how it's customized and interactive, and allows you to drive your own learning with access to tons of data. Let's briefly look more closely at each of these. Online learning is convenient. You can study anywhere with an internet connection and on mobile devices too. So one thing we will practice is how to manage your time at home so you're able to meet your online learning goals. We all know that every student is unique. Online learning is great because the software will get to know you and build a unique course around your strengths and weaknesses. So we can all study what we need as we work towards our personal goals. Online learning can also be interactive. The internet has so many great tools like videos on YouTube, games, and podcasts. So whether you prefer to learn by watching, listening, or doing, you can study in the way that is right for you. Were you ever bored in a high school class because you were working on something you already knew how to do? With online learning, you get to choose what to study. And our coaches and instructors are here to help you understand your test scores, choose the right classes, and set goals to help you make academic progress. And lastly, online learning is great because we get so much data. During orientation, you will take a placement test and don't worry too much about it, it's not a pass or fail. And that test will show you what level you are at in English and math and how close you are to being ready for the high set. In other words, we will know what your strengths and weaknesses are so you can spend time studying the things you need to improve most. So as you can see, 2015 is a great time to be a student and online learning is getting better every day. Our teachers and coaches and students are excited to continue exploring these great and free online resources together.
The eLearn program was launched in May of 2014. We currently have 75 students enrolled. In the past year, 20 students have passed the high set, and 70% of our students have made an academic game, which means they see progress in their test scores after one online session. Remember, the eLearn program is completely free, and you can stay enrolled as long as you want, so be sure to be patient and work hard toward, towards meeting your academic goals. Now let's talk about the, how the application process works. There are three application periods per year, in March, June, and September. So if for some reason you miss an application or aren't accepted, remember that you can always try to apply during the next period. The application process is entirely online. And we will look next at each step of the three-part process, including the online application, digital literacy tests, and orientation scheduling. My first tip for you to be successful with the application process is to check your inbox often. All instructions will be emailed, so be sure to get in the habit of checking your email regularly. The first step of the application process is to submit an online form. On September 9th, you can click that link at dcc.edu forward slash adult dash ed to access the application. Keep in mind that the application will be open from September 7th until midnight on September 9th, and you can submit the application at any point. It is not first come, first serve, so there is no rush in turning in your application. Just be sure to turn it in, submit it before the end of the day on the 9th. Let's now quickly look at the application itself. So this is dcc.edu forward slash adult dash ed. On the left hand side, there's a link for online classes. And on this page, you can see the application link itself. When you click on the application, which remember will open up on Monday, September 7th and close on September 9th, you'll be taken to the application itself here. This is the online form that you will submit to complete part one, which I'm going to take you through now. Notice that in the bottom right hand corner, you can see your progress as you work through the application, which should take about 15 minutes to complete. Remember, you complete it anytime before September 9th. So there's no rush and take your time with each of these questions. So the first page is just your last name and first name. Click continue. On the next page is basic demographic information like your birthday how old you are, the city that you live in, state, the zip code, and parish, and a good phone number where you can be reached. The next part is important. In the eLearn program, we use a lot of Google products, including Google Mail, Docs, Calendar, and so forth. So all students that want to participate in the eLearn program are required to have a Gmail email address. So this first space right here is for your Gmail address. If you have a second email address that you use, you can enter it here. But all students in order to participate will need to create and use a Gmail address. In other words, if you have a Gmail account already, use it here. If you don't, you can click this link, go to gmail.com and create a new account. Next question is about the last grade that you completed in school and about how you learned about the online program. Next is about when you're available for an orientation session. All students must attend a five hour orientation session at the City Park campus in order to get started. Keep in mind that this will be the only time that you're required to take to come to class physically. The rest of the studies can be completed entirely online. So select all the times that you're available, like weekday mornings, afternoons, mornings, or evenings. Weekend times are available as well. This question is about if you've ever been enrolled in our program before, whether or not you're working, how many hours you work per week, and about how many hours you anticipate to commit into the eLearn program. Keep in mind that these answers aren't going to change whether or not you're accepted, but it gets you to start thinking about balancing work and school. And typically, we found that students that can commit three to six hours per week are successful with our program. At this point, we're not 40% complete, so we're going to be taking a page three. On this page, there are four short answer questions. And remember, there's no rush here, so take your time thinking about and responding to the questions. 
first question is, what is something in school that you think you do well? I think that I am a good writer. You can hit tab to get to the next space. What is something in school that you want to improve? I need to get better at math, specifically in algebra and geometry. What do you think will be the biggest challenge for you to be successful in the Ethereum program, and how do you plan to overcome them? I think managing my time will be difficult because I am so busy. So finding time to get online could be hard. I will be sure to plan out my week and budget time for my coursework. So this question I ask you to think about what might be a challenge and what you can do to overcome that challenge. And remember, our instructors and coaches are going to be here with you throughout the program to help you navigate each of those challenges. Why are you joining this program? I'm joining the eLearn program because I want to earn my high set. Remember, that's the new name for the GED. And take classes in nursing at Delgado. So notice I haven't you know, written too long of responses here, but I have taken the time to really think about um, my strengths, my weaknesses, some challenges I might encounter, and ultimately why I'm joining this program. And now at this point, I'm 60% complete with the application. So I'll continue on. Each of these questions is about your computer information. So for example, do you have internet access at home? Currently, we are only able to accept students that have access to the internet at home. Do you have a laptop, desktop? one or the other or both. Which type of device did you use on a weekly basis? And personally, I use a laptop, desktop, desktop tablet, and smartphone regularly. I'm on, online all the time. What is your preferred operating system for your desktop or laptop? I use Microsoft Windows. My mobile operating system, I have an Android phone. And social accounts that I use on a weekly basis. I regularly use Facebook. I follow people on Twitter that I don't post much. I have a LinkedIn account but I don't use it weekly. I definitely use my Google Plus regularly. Um, I do have Instagram and Pinterest, but I don't think I use them weekly. Um, this is to get a sense of how active you are on social networks, which we use in the eLearn program to communicate with our fellow students and instructors. Do you have a smartphone? Yes. And if yes, do you check your email on your phone? Because obviously that's a great way um, to quickly monitor your messages through the app on your smartphone. And at this point, I'm now 80% complete with the application. I'll remind you that there's no rush, so take your time with this process. Click Continue to get to the last page. So this is a question about when you need to check your inbox, and there's a reminder here. So remember that this online application is the first part of the application process. So once you submit this, which you need to do before Wednesday, September 9th, you'll need to check your inbox on Friday, September 11th. So this question right here is a reminder that I need to check my inbox on Friday, September 11th for instructions on how to complete the next step of the application. This second question here is if you have any questions. I do not have any questions at this time. I am crazy excited to get started. And the last part is to e-sign your name. So put your name in this blank. And then click Submit. And that's it for the online form. So there are a couple of reminders here that you'll need to check your inbox. But remember, this online form will go live on the 7th, and you have three days to complete it. So as you just saw, it took me about five or 10 minutes to complete. It might take you a little longer, and that's fine. The most important thing here is just to take your time with it. There's absolutely no rush. This is part one. You have three days to complete it. And then you'll check your inbox on the 11th for instructions on how to complete part two. Part two of the application includes digital literacy assessments. So the second part of the online application is these assessments. Being successful in an online class can be hard if you don't know how to use a computer. So the purpose of this step is to make sure you're ready to take an online class. You will receive an email on that Friday with all the instructions on how to complete the assessments. You'll have to take four, so be sure to take the right assessments and turn them in properly. Also notice that you'll only have to take 3A or 3B depending on which type of computer you use. This is what the computer tests look like. You'll have five days to take each test and email your results. So be sure again to take your time and do well, do well on them to increase your chances of being accepted into the program. Eight
If you successfully complete the first and second part of the application, which again is the online form and the digital literacy assessments, you will be accepted into the program. The last step is to sign up for an orientation session. Remember, you must attend a half-day orientation on campus in order to begin the program. You will sign up using a Google Sheet that looks like this. Don't worry, we will teach you how to use it when we get to that part of the application. There are three orientation sessions that you can choose from. These are the dates and times. If you have to change your work schedule or find a babysitter, make sure you do so ahead of time so you are able to come to orientation at the City Park campus. After you complete orientation, when we will tour the online program and take our placement test, you can complete the rest of your studies online at home. Now let's talk about how the online classes work. This is an example of how the math courses work. As you can see, there are many subjects to choose from and data that allows you to track your progress through each. So on the left, we can see a listing of the different courses available in math. And on the right, we can see the, some of the data that we get to help us monitor our progress through the course. And there are many resources available to help you learn, including tips and videos that will make it seem like you have a tutor working with you on each problem. And like we've already talked about, you will have access to your test scores so you can work with our coaches and teachers to figure out exactly what you should be studying online. In other words, you won't be wasting time on things you already know, but focusing on your lowest skills as you get ready for the high set test. We also offer various writing, reading, social studies, and science courses. Using free tools like Google Docs, you can practice your writing skills on weekly assignments that are emailed out. At the top, you can see a course schedule with links to each of the activities. And at the bottom is a sample Google Doc where you will practice your research, your reading, and your writing skills, submit these assignments, and get feedback from your instructors, which we'll look at in a minute. Now let's look at how the communications work in the eLearn program. There are many ways for you to connect with your teachers and fellow students, including email, Facebook, Gchat, and more. First, there will be emails sent twice per week, and you can see an example now. Be sure to read through these emails for information on new classes, free online resources, and tips for how to be successful online. You can connect with your teacher through Gchat, a free instant messaging service inside your Gmail account. And when you turn assignment, an assignment in, you will get feedback from your teachers on what you're doing well and what to keep working on. We will also use Google Hangouts to connect in a live video chat. As you can see, there are five students and a teacher in this call right now working on math problems together. And that's about it. Before we conclude, here are a few reminders. First of all, the online application is the first part, and you'll be able to submit that anytime online between September 7th and September 9th. That website again is dcc.edu forward slash adult dash ed. Stay tuned to that website for more information. Second, be sure to check your inbox on the Friday after you apply for more information on the second part of the application. So it is a two part process to apply and students that complete both part one and part two successfully will be accepted into the program. We are ready to accept all students. So as long as you follow the instructions, you're sure to get in. So that's about it for now. So I will leave you by saying good luck and we'll see you online. Oh, and one last thing, you can rewatch this video anytime you want at this link. Thanks y'all.